the stable diffusion animation, said bye-bye to the old flickering control net stitching image method. We are talking about the smoothness, sharpness, and realism character movement. The comfy UI and animate diff allow us to make better and better. And IP adapter help us to enhance the style from LCM model images. Let's check out the last update of this animate diff LCM animation workflow. Now, we'll be delving into the exciting features of our latest update for the animation workflow, specifically focusing on the Anime Diff Control Net IP adapter. Additionally, we'll explore the newly added Detailer Custom Nodes group, which enhances the output quality of our animations. We'll be showcasing a group of custom nodes that I have been updated, specifically tailored for animation differential control. We are thrilled to the Animation Diff Detailer, a very great notes group that enhances the quality of animation outcome. And then you can find this Comfy UI Impact Pack and Comfy UI Inspired Pack. Now, I forgot which one it's from for the detailer, but both of them are very useful for Comfy UI users like us. And they have a lot of features, so both of them. When you download them, there won't be any issues. Now, let's go back to our workflows. First, be sure we will navigate to the LCM settings here. As you can see, I'm using the Stable Diffusion 1.5 LCM LoRa model. I'm still using LoRa model because I prefer the checkpoint models I have worked a lot with, which is the realistic vision. The current version is 6, and now we come to the settings of the detailer for animation. We are using the same sampler method, which is also set as LCM. Additionally, I'm going to increase the sampling step slightly compared to the K sampler and CFG. I have set it to the LCM maximum, which is 2. Next, these are all the outcomes here. In this new workflow update, I have combined three videos at the top so that we can observe the different results and compare which one works best for our animation video. As you can see, the first one is this. The face appears somewhat blurry, and the hand also appears blurry. Now, let's move on to the second one. I see that the face appears clearer because I have specifically focused on enhancing the facial details in this video generation, as compared to the same timing in the other video. As you can see, both videos are completely different. Here's the first one on the left. Additionally, you can observe the Ultralatic Detector Provider, where you can select the model's name and see its capabilities. They offer options for focusing on the face, hand, or the entire person. Currently, I mostly use the face and person options for the majority of the time. And then you have the SAM loader in this group. Now, this is another video generation result for the showcase. As you can see, here is the first video, and after applying the detailer, we have the second video playing here. Let me set the same frame here. There you go. It's clear. Now the last one is the face change effect after the detailer video process. If you don't want to use the face change effect and only want to add detail for a clear facial presentation, you can use just the detailer group here. Of course, the face change final output is the clearest one because we have a clear picture for each image frame for reference. You can see that the skin and clothing are more refined, the colors are enhanced, and the shadows have a sharper appearance. Everything has been optimized compared to the previous versions of this workflow, resulting in significant improvements. So right now I'm going to try the person detector. Um, after applying the detailer, it will detect the entire person characters and enhance the overall appearance of the characters in the next generation video result. Let's click on run and wait for another outcome. We will observe the difference between using face or person detection. Here's the outcome for after applying the detailer for the person. As you can see, I'm using this option, and this is the same video as before. However, now we are not only optimizing the face, but also enhancing the color, sharpness, and overall appearance of the characters in these videos. 
As you can see, the sharpness of the character are clearly outperform from the previous version of this workflow. Even I have not defined much in the text prompt. Another update features in this workflow are the control net. One interesting thing I have noticed, and this was also brought up by one of my Patreon supporters, is that the control net open pose has some issues. It experiences a hang time while the workflow is loading in that part, and it causes the whole system feel like freeze temporarily, uh, the workflow only holding on the open pose preprocessor for a while. I have acknowledged these issues, uh, which are inherent to the open pose preprocessors. Although they are not major issues, they can be quite annoying. Because you don't know if your system crushed or not, and open pose control net do not have any progress log in the command prompt. So I've switched to using the DW Post preprocessor. One significant advantage of DW Post, as many of us are aware, is that it outperforms the traditional open post in terms of finger and face recognition. In our previous videos, we discussed the DDW open post and conducted tests comparing it to the traditional open post. As a result, I decided to replace the open pose control net sections with DW open pose. Furthermore, one notable feature is the ability to select different detector models. Take a look at this drop down menu where you can try out various options and determine which one works best for your needs. Now, let's test the new DW pose with another set of animated videos. In the text prompt or pretext areas, I have defined the Christmas atmosphere videos. Let's proceed and evaluate the performance of DW Post. So right now, the latent image just started and it goes to LineArt Control Net. Then let's wait for the result soon. As we can see, the command prompt is highly responsive compared to the open post, which often freezes for extended periods of time. In contrast, the DW pose loads quickly, significantly reducing processing time. Currently, the data is being processed through the case sampler, working on generating each image frame. Although the overall process may still take around 15 minutes, it is much more efficient compared to the open post, which could take up to 10 or 15 minutes just at the hanging section, especially when dealing with over 700 image frames. Let's review the results. This is the first outcome and it includes all generations. I'm using the LCM LoRa model, which provides less detail. However, we can enhance it using the detailer by setting higher sampling steps and CFG. Okay, let's wait for the face change result as well. Here's the face change result. As expected, the face change result is the best among the three options. It utilizes the image or picture of the characters to generate each face frame, resulting in clear, sharp, and well-colored faces. Let's preview the full picture. However, the detailer is working better now. I'm currently using the person detailer. Let's use these two pictures as our next example. In the previous video, we tested with the DreamShaper LCM model, and here are the results. We used the same videos to generate animations, but enabled the IP adapter using DreamShaper's iconic style image for this example. It's all golden style now, and the DramShaper style outfit. And here, I want to show you some previous result when I and testing with detailer nodes. As you can see, if you don't set the sampling method to be the same as the K sampler, the results can be less desirable as shown in these bad examples. So it's important to ensure consistency in the sampling method, and you need to set higher sampling steps in detailer group if you are using LCM. Uh, here's another example of uh, video animations that I created for with the new version of this workflow. When using the DW pose, it's evident that the AI detects the fingers facial expressions and the movements of every part of the body, including the hands. The output is clear and detailed. This concludes the update for this workflow, and I will be updating it on our Patreon community and the OpenArt Comfy UI workflow contest page. You will be able to download it from OpenArt as well as my Patreon.
But of course, in my Patreon, I will be able to do further support and update more AI stuffs. So, hope you guys like this workflow update, but not subscribe yet. Well, don't be a jerk and just do it. Yes, thank you for my supporter in Patreon. You guys are awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend and keep inspiring. Bye!